Good morning students. I'm going to show you some kitchen chemistry that you can do at home. Here are the things that you're going to need to do this experiment. You will need a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon and a tablespoon measuring spoon, some baking soda, a one or two liter empty soda bottle, some vinegar, some dish soap, and a paper funnel. You just take a regular piece of paper, kind of fold it around, put some tape on it, makes a funnel. What you do is you measure out three tablespoons of vinegar and three tablespoons of water, and you put them in a little plastic cup and label it vinegar. Then you measure out three tablespoons of baking soda, label it baking soda, and you Pour the vinegar and water solution into the sorry, thanks. Two liter bottle. Let me see if I can do this without spilling. Okay, so there it is in there. Then you pour one quarter teaspoon of dish soap into the bottle. And you swirl it gently to mix it. You don't shake it up. Just, sorry, pour it in there. I'll ask my assistant to swirl it gently. Can you swirl it gently? Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Okay, very good, thank you. And then the last step is to take your paper, paper funnel that you've made and put it into the bottle, like so. And then to dump the baking soda in all at once. Assistant, will you please do so? Can you reach? Now shake it up. Keep shaking, keep shaking. You can see that the entire bottle is filling with bubbles. The soap only helps it last longer. It doesn't actually participate in the chemical reaction at all. But the chemical reaction that you have observed is the production of carbon dioxide, which is a gas. It fills the bubbles. And it happens when you mix vinegar and baking soda. And there is your kitchen science for the day. See you guys soon.